Hey, welcome to Color Yoga. My name is Kyle and welcome to the Beginner's Flow series. Today we're going to have a look at the critical mind and yoga is a nice practice that you can use to really become more aware of these critical thoughts and the practice in itself is a fantastic chance to notice when these thoughts come up and naturally everyone would like to kind of be more flexible and stronger or perhaps you can't touch your toes or I'm too old for this and all these kind of critical thoughts come in and it's a nice space for us to firstly become more aware of these thoughts catch them like as they come up and in doing so we create a bit of distance and space between us and those thoughts and it's in that space that we learn to separate ourselves we break that emotional resonance within the body and then we can use that space to change the dialogue change it into something more constructive something more positive something a bit more gentle and that's kind of where the magic happens i'd like to also take this chance to thank you for all your efforts i know how hard it is to get to your mat and thank you for all the effort that you are putting into this channel i'm trying to create a space where this process is easier and more attainable for everyone and you can do it in the comfort of your own home so if you'd like to join in on this journey and support and join our weekly classes go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell it would be much appreciated and when you're ready grab your mat and we'll begin So we'll begin in a nice comfortable seat. You can remove the flesh from your sitting bones if you like. Roll the shoulders back and down and with some length at the back of the neck. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, gently bring your eyes to close. Nice. So we'll always begin in a comfortable seat and just turn our attention onto our natural breathing. Just allowing a few steady breaths to settle down onto our mats. And we're gonna pay a special attention to any critical thoughts that come up throughout this class. And just using our breath and our attention to hold our focus. So perhaps you may notice sometime throughout the class that you're being a little bit hard on yourself or a little judgmental. And these critical thoughts are completely natural. And when you become aware of them, just simply acknowledge them for a thought, something that's just coming up within your mind. And you can then return the attention back onto the breath, back onto the physical sensations of movement. And if you'd like to go one step further, you're welcome to see if you can try and change the dialogue. So noticing perhaps any critical thoughts and then returning the thought with a sense of compassion and just see how that feels throughout the practice it's always nice to experiment with these different things and these kind of aspects to yoga are always best felt through the experience so the challenge today is the critical thought and observing the critical thinking and just returning the attention back onto the breath as soon as you notice them and take a deep breath in through the nose and an open mouth exhale to release and let it go nice once again in through the nose to fill and open mouth sigh to release last time in through the nose nice and slow feel the cool air in through the nostrils and open mouth sigh with some sound to release and shake it off. Inhale, arms rise up to the sky to touch above your head and as you exhale, bring them through to prayer at your heart center. If you'd like to, you can just take a moment for yourself to set an intention for your class. It's always nice to give your practice some direction and sense of grounding. I'm gonna offer you one of gratitude and when you're ready, bind your head towards your hands to seal that off. And we'll make our way into child's pose at the back of our mats. And you can remember, we we'll begin each practice in child's pose, having the knees spread out wide, toes touching at the back. 
And we're going to reach our hands out in front of us and allow our forehead or our chin to just gently melt down to the ground. And you can begin to shift the weight from left to right, just moving the weight from one hip into the next, perhaps massaging your forehead onto the ground, rocking it from left to right. Take a deep breath in and open mouth sigh to release. Inhale, come up to tabletop. Stack your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. Have a look at your hands, make sure that they are slightly wide in the shoulder width distance. We're going to begin with just some nice circles into the wrists. If you'd like to, you can even tuck your toes, just working some space into the underside of the feet. Move clockwise, anti clockwise. Perhaps you want to close the eyes and see if you can synchronize your breath with your movement. If you like a little more, you can always add some movement in with the neck. Just working some space, warming the body up, almost moving into a sort of organic movement. And when you're ready, coming into a neutral tabletop. Inhale for cow, lower the belly, look forward. Exhale, cat, tuck the chin round and press. Inhale for cow, belly lows, chin up, draw the collarbones open. Exhale, cat, round, tuck the tailbone and press into the ground. Nice, one time with your breath. Inhale for cow, lower the belly. Exhale, cat, tuck the chin and press. Nice, neutral tabletop, walk your hands to the top of your mat. Tuck your toes, take a deep breath in. Exhale, plank, raise the knees, engage the core. Now, take some time just to arrive into a nice plank. You wanna make sure that your weight is just over the wrists, press into the ground so you are preventing yourself from collapsing. So there's a tendency for the hips to lower and the head to lower. Really rise up with a nice sense of strength pressing into the ground. Take one last deep breath in here. Exhale, down dog, so hips up, heels down. Now, take a few breaths just to pedal your dog out from left to right. Working some space into the side body. Spreading the fingers wide, pressing into the ground. Wrap the elbows in. And neutral, down dog, with some stillness. So, if your hamstrings are tight, remember just a little bend to the knees, get the chest down towards the toes, and then we'll slowly lower the heels down. Inhale to fill. Open up, exhale to release. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose, shift the weight forward, squeeze and tap, press the ground away. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg up and back. Exhale, step through, low lunge, foot comes in between the hands. Lower the back knee, untuck the back toe, rise up. So you want to stack your shoulders over your hips. Now just take a moment, you can interlace the fingers, place them onto the front thigh if you like. I'm just going to lower the hips forward and down, just gently working up muscles. And see if you can use your exhale to lower yourself down. So inhale back, exhale down. And if you find yourself wobbling around here, you can always just separate the space in between your knee and your heel. Nice, you can release. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Squeeze your hands together. Inhale to look up. And exhale to arch back. Keep breathing. You want to draw the elbows together, roll the shoulders open. Chin up and lower your hips forward and down. Release. Inhale, arms rise up to the sky. Exhale, back bend, draw your elbows down, squeeze the thighs and lean back. Inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, half split, so drop the hips back, activate the front toes to hold. So you want to keep the leg nice and active, toes coming back towards the face. Now walk your hands off to the right hand side of your mat and feel a stretch along the outside of the right leg on your IT band. Nice, really try to draw back on the right hip. You can release, creep forward, raise the back knee in a low lunge, so little to no weight in the fingertips, I mean in the feet. Inhale, look forward, 
Exhale, step forward, forward fold, feet to meet. Inhale, half lift, tuck the chin, spine parallel to the floor. Exhale, fall down to release. Inhale, high mountain, bend the knees, arms reach up to the sky. Look up, exhale, back bend, squeeze the thighs, elbows down and lean back. <clears throat> inhale, high mountain, arms up. Exhale, half moon, so you want to lower the left hand down and reach the right arm up and over. So we're stretching on the right side, compressing on the left. You can use your hands just to support, support a little bit on the left side, but you want to reach up and out through the fingertips. Inhale, arms rise through center. Exhale, over to the right side, lower the right hand, left arm reaches up and over. Press down through the heels, actively reach up through the fingertips. Inhale, arms rise, interlace the fingers, look up. Exhale, gently back bend. Inhale, arms rise. As you exhale, slowly dive down, tuck the chin, see if you can roll vertebra by vertebra, making your way all the way down to release. When you get there, heel to your feet to the wide, almost the wide edge of your mat, so just a little wide hip with distance apart. Grab opposite elbows, bend the knees a lot, see if you can get the belly pressed onto the thighs, relax the back of the neck, and we're going to sway gently from left to right. Just releasing the spine, see if you can relax all the tension in your face, becoming aware of perhaps any critical thoughts. And you can release, interlace the fingers, place them at the base of the skull, tuck the chin, and fall down towards the ground. Just swaying from left to right, waking up the spinal cord. Last one, interlace the fingers behind your back this time, squeeze the elbows and send them up and over the head. Nice. Release the hands down. Inhale, half lift, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, fold. And heel to the feet to touch. Inhale, half lift to prepare. Exhale, plank, step back. Now remember, if you need to, you can always lower your knees for the vinyasa or the chaturanga. So with plank, press the earth away, lift the hips up, lift the back of the neck up. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway, bend the elbows. Inhale, up top, roll over the toes, squeeze the thighs, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose, ripple forward. See if you can make connection, lift the hips up. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg up and back. Exhale, step through, low lunge, foot comes in between the hands. And lower the back knee to the floor, untuck the back toe, rise up. Again, interlace the fingers, place them onto the front thigh. And see if we can make some space by using your exhale to lower yourself forward and down. Nice. So you want to really relax as you lower yourself down. Inhale, hips come back. Great. You can release. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Squeeze the elbows together. Inhale to look up. Exhale, arch back. Again, you want to point to the back heel, roll the shoulders, use your exhale to gently lower yourself forward and down. Inhale, release, arms rise. Look up, exhale, back bend, elbows down, lean back. Inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, half splits, drop the hips back and down, activate the front toes. Nice, so you want to keep the toes coming back, draw back on the left hip. Again, just making sure that your hips are square to the front. And from here, see if you can walk your hands off the mat, feeling a stretch on the left IT band. Keep breathing. And you can release, come forward. Low lunge, place the hands down, raise the back knee. A little to no weight in the fingertips, so strong on the feet. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward, forward fold, feet to meet. Inhale, half lift, tuck the chin, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, high mountain, bend the knees, arms reach up. Exhale, back bend, elbows down, squeeze the thighs, look up and lean back. Inhale, high mountain, with your breath. Exhale, fold down to release. Inhale, half lift. To prepare, 
Exhale, plank, step back. Spread the fingers wide, press the ground away. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway, keep the elbows tucked in. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes. Squeeze the thighs, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step, jump, or walk, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, tuck the chin. Exhale, fold to release. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Sit back into the heels, raise the arms up alongside the ears, and breathe. So, you want to make sure that the thumbs are facing up, wrap the pinkies in, draw the shoulders down, weight into the heels, squeeze the thighs. One more breath in. Exhale, fold to release. Inhale, half lift, tuck the chin and prepare. Exhale, plank, step back. And remember, if you need to, take some weight off your shoulders, you can lower the knees. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes. Roll the shoulders back, squeeze the thighs. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose, shift the weight forward, squeeze, lift the hips up. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg back. Exhale, step through, low lunge, foot comes in between the hands. Inhale, rise, high crescent lunge, up on the feet to breathe. Nice, so high up on the ball of the back foot, legs nice and strong. Have a look at your front heel, see if you can put it just in front of the front knee, hips are square to the front, arms rise up. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, back bend, squeeze the thighs and lean back. Inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Now remember, shoulder stack over hips, strong back leg, foot parallel or slightly facing forward. Press down to the front heel, arms level out. Inhale, reverse warrior, turn the palm, reach back. Exhale, extended side, elbow to knee, arm comes alongside the ear. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach back and prepare. Exhale, chaturanga, windmill the hands down to plank and step the foot back. Inhale, shift the weight forward, press the ground away. Exhale, lower halfway, elbows tucked in. Inhale, up dog, squeeze the thighs, knees are just hovering off the floor, look up. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Nice. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose, ripple forward, squeeze, lift the hips up. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg up and back. Exhale, step through, low lunge, foot comes in between the hands. Inhale, rise, high crescent lunge, up on the feet to breathe. Again, see if you can synchronize the breath with the movement, sending some nice slow breaths into the belly. Inhale to reach up, look up. Exhale, back bend, squeeze the thighs, elbows down, lean back. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Make sure that your legs are nice and engaged. Shoulders stacked over hips, arms reaching strong, melt them down. Inhale, reverse warrior. Turn the palm, reach it up and over. Exhale, extend it side, elbow to knee, arm comes alongside the ear, little to no weight on the front knee. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach back and prepare. Exhale, chaturanga. Windle the hands down, step back to plank. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, lower halfway, bend the elbows, drop the chest down. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes, squeeze the thighs, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step, walk or jump, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, tuck the chin. Exhale, fold down to release. Inhale, high mountain, bend the knees, arms reach up. 
Exhale, half moon, lower the left hand, arm reaches up and over. Squeeze the thighs, reach to the fingertips. Inhale, arms rise through center. Exhale to the right hand side. Right arm reaches down, left arm reaches up and over. Inhale, arms rise through center. Look up, interlace the fingers. Exhale, gently arch back. Inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, fall down to release. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, left foot steps back, coming into a low lunge. Nice. So you can reposition your feet, make sure that they're just slightly different tracks so you find yourself with a bit of balance. Inhale, look forward, lower the hips. Exhale, pyramid pose, press to straighten. So draw back on the right hip. Inhale, bend into the right knee, look forward. Exhale, pyramid pose, press and straighten. Really press to the front heel. Last time, with your breath, inhale, low lunge, bend the right knee, look forward. Exhale, pyramid pose, press to straighten. Inhale, low lunge, bend to the right knee, hands come down. Exhale, three-legged dog, right leg steps up and back. Nice. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, knee to nose, shift the weight forward, squeeze. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg up and back. Exhale, step through, low lunge, foot comes in between the hands. Inhale, rise, high crescent lunge, up on the feet to breathe. Now see if you can slightly tuck the tailbone, and again, breathe into the belly, so notice that the breath is coming up into the chest, and gently send it down. Arms up. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, back bend, elbows down, lean back. Inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, warrior two, open up. You can readjust the feet. Inhale, reverse warrior. Turn the palm, reach it up and back. Exhale, extended side, elbow to knee. Arm comes alongside the ear, little to no weight in the front knee. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach back and prepare. Exhale, chaturanga. We move the hands down to plank. Step back. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, lower halfway, keep the elbows tucked in. Inhale, up, dog roll over the toes. Squeeze the thighs, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down, dog hips up, heels down. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step or walk, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, tuck the chin, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, fold down to release. Inhale, chair pose. Bend the knees, sit back, arms up, and breathe. It's called Utkatasana, or chair pose, and translates to fierce posture. And in the name, it's supposed to be quite challenging. It's supposed to build up heat and rinse the body of any harder emotions. So again, noticing any critical thoughts if they're coming up. Perhaps returning in kind with something compassionate and encouraging. Take a deep breath in, exhale, fall down to release. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, low lunge, right foot steps back this time. Place the hands down, strong in the feet, pull to no weight in the fingertips. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, pyramid pose, press and straighten. So draw back on the left hip with a stretch on the hamstring. Inhale, low lunge, bend to the right knee, sorry, left knee, lower the hips, look forward. Exhale, pyramid pose, press and straighten. Last time, with your breath. Inhale, low lunge, bend into the left knee, look forward. Exhale, pyramid pose. Release, inhale, low lunge, bend to the left knee, hands come down. Exhale, three-legged dog, left leg extends up and back. Reach to the heel, take a deep breath in. Exhale, knee to nose, shift the weight forward, press into the ground. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg up and back. Exhale, step through, low lunge, foot comes in between the hands. Inhale, rise, high crescent lunge, up on the feet to breathe. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, back bend, elbows down, arch back. Inhale, arms rise through center. Exhale, warrior two, open up, readjust the feet. Have a look at the heel, make sure it's just in front of the knee. 
Back leg nice and strong, arms level out. Inhale, reverse warrior, turn the palm, reach it up and over. Exhale, extended side, elbow to knee. Bring the arm alongside the ear. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach back and prepare. Exhale, plank, windmill the hands down. Step the leg back. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway, elbows into the last time. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes, squeeze the thigh, shoulders roll back. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump into a seat. Well done. So we're going to extend our legs out in front of us. Have the toes nice and active. If the hamstrings are tight, have a little bend to the knees. You can remove the flesh again, get into the front side of the sitting bones. Inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, fold to release. Again, you want to make sure that your spine is nice and straight, so belly pressed against the thighs. And then from here, you can always walk your sitting bones back to find a nice, juicy, sweet spot. Keep breathing again, noticing any critical thoughts. It's always in these moments of stillness that the mind tends to take over. And release, inhale, lift up, and as you exhale, slowly lower down onto your back. And we're going to draw both knees into our chest, give ourselves a good squeeze, you can rock gently from left to right. We're going to send the heels up to the sky, take hold of the outer blades of the feet, coming into a happy baby, drawing the knees down, you can rock gently from left to right, again, slight tuck of the chin. You want to have the outer blades of the feet and you want to draw the knees down and press into the feet or press into the hands with your feet so you can try and get the tailbone and the back of the neck onto the floor. And release. Draw the right knee into your chest, extend the left leg out long. Coming into a wind remover or a reclined wind remover. You can lower the knee over to the left side, supine twist, looking over the right shoulder. So you want to gently lower the right knee over, looking over the right shoulder, feeling a twist along the spine. And you can release, draw the right knee in, give it a good squeeze and switch it out with the left this time. So left leg draws in. Activate both toes, tuck the chin, draw the shoulders back onto the floor. One breath in here. Exhale, release over to the right side. Supine twist, looking over the left shoulder. Again, being gentle with your spinal twist, gently lowering the knee down, keeping the left shoulder on the floor. into your chest, give yourself a good squeeze. As you inhale, take a moment just to reconnect with the intention that you set at the beginning of the class. Exhale, release into Shavasana, taking up as much space as you like. Let your feet fall to wherever they go, have your palms facing up. And when you're ready, committing to stillness. Together, we'll take one nice long breath in through the nose to fill. Suspend when you get to the top. Notice the pressure building up in your chest. Exhale, release and relax. Well done. So we're just going to take a few rounds of mindful breath just to let our practice soak up. See if you can allow your sensations of the breath to hold your attention, following the breath all the way in and following it all the way out. And if you find your mind wandering, that's totally fine. Just return the attention back onto the breath. I'm 
and see if you can use your exhale to release and relax yourself further onto the mat. You're welcome to stay here as long as you like. It's always encouraged to do at least three to four, five minutes even, just lying down, enjoying the fruits of your labor. And I'd like to say thank you once again for all your support and all your efforts on your mat. It's much appreciated. And I'll see you here next week on your mat. Namaste.